Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is make a video for what are the rules of exponents. Now, obviously, in my course, um, you know, I have this all written on a sheet of paper, but I basically thought that, you know, rather than just providing what everything means on a sheet of paper, I can at least maybe make a video and describe everything, even though I think I actually have, like, a lot of the same video on my channel. But anyways, here we go. So the product rule, basically the stating is whenever I'm multiplying exponents with a base x, and they have, you know, the same or different powers, so x to the x to the a times x to the b. Now, obviously, where a and b are going to represent numbers. Um, then, when I'm multiplying, all I'm simply doing is adding the powers a plus b. When I have a quotient, um, basically the same thing. Well, now, instead of multiplying, when I have exponents with the same base with the same or different um, powers, then all I'm simply going to do is subtract the exponents. And the last thing is the power rule is any time that I'm taking a exponent and I'm raising it to another power, then I simply multiply the exponents times each other. The next thing is the power to product rule. And the power to product rule basically states is any time that I have x to the a uh, times, let's do y to the b, I, can't, I don't want to do x because then I could obviously combine them, right? So let's say I have two exponents. Um, and I can have a number as well in here. Uh, two exponents and a number, uh, or a number in there. And let's raise that to the c power. Then what the power to product rule tells us is this power needs to be distributed to both those terms. So I have x to the ac times y to the bc. And that works for the power to quotient rule as well. If I have x to the a over y to the b, and that's raised to the c power, again, the power goes to the term in the numerator as well as the denominator. So I have x to the ac divided by y to the bc. Uh, the 0 pretty much states whenever I have an exponent and raise it to the 0 power, no matter what the base is, um, whenever I have an exponent with the 0 as the power, no matter what the base is, it's always going to equal 1. And negative exponents, uh, these happen a lot where we're going to have exponents that are negative in the numerator, denominator, or we're even going to have fractions and so forth. So the way that w this works, if I have x to the negative a, then to rewrite this as a positive, I'm going to rewrite it as the reciprocal um, x to the positive a. So the reciprocal of x would be 1 over x, and then you can make the power positive. If I have 1 over x to the negative a, then again, I can rewrite this as a positive exponent written as the reciprocal. So that would just be x to the a. And then also, if I have x over y raised to the negative a, and I want to rewrite this, again, rewrite it with the reciprocal, which would equal y over x raised to the a. So I didn't get into any rational exponents, but your basic rules of exponents, ladies and gentlemen, are all right here. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to working with you. Thanks.